Alright, I got a, uh, a 99 F-150 intake. This is a 4.6 intake. Um, I'm just going to kind of quickly go over uh, things to look for if you say you have a uh, the engine's running lean or um, an EGR insufficient flow or something It'll, just different things that that'll that to look for what could cause those um, if you have a, a lean code I mean check around your hoses that's that's a common thing um, you want to look around the, the the back of your throttle to the back of your throttle body rather um, this this back end right here. Um, likes to dry out and it'll um, dry rot and just crack which will start to let in air um, and throw everything off. Um, another thing at the bottom of the hose that goes into your valve cover um, is the PCV valve. Um, you want to make sure while the engine's running um, that that's, that has good sucking power. It, it'll, it'll really, really suck. You'll, you'll be able to see that. If, it, if that's not doing that then um, it's, you have a faulty uh, P PCV valve. Um, another thing, if uh, say you have an insufficient flow of your EGR valve, um, which is right here on the side, um, that probably needs to be replaced um, in, uh, um, along with just cleaning your whole throttle body and the EGR ports. Um, the, the tube itself is probably caked up with um, with just uh, carbon and, and, and build up, but I mean that's not the worst thing um, if you can and you just you haven't have the money. I'd replace that too. It, it's no fun. The studs on the side. Uh, there's one stud right here, um, and there's another bolt. The bolts usually come out okay. The studs nine out of ten times snap. Um, I mean just spray the hell out of them with penetrating oil and, and hope for the best. Um, but and then the nuts down the bottom that bolt onto the um, your exhaust manifold. Those are pretty hard to get at and just to get off because they are so rusty, being right down by the wheel. Um, so I mean, once you get those off and, and you get your EGR valve off and you take the throttle body all off, um, it's good just to clean the whole the whole side. This is the side where your EGR valve mounts. Um, you want to just clean all the way down in there. I mean, it is a, a long run that goes all the way down, um, right to the back. Um, and you might not be able to see. It is. It, it's. It's just built up, and I mean, it's just caked in there. Um, they have little kits you can get. Um, I got one like this, uh, and I have another one that which even has longer ones, um, longer and, and some smaller ones to, to get into there. You can just put it on a drill and just go in and out slowly. Um, and you can even use like an engine degreaser while you're doing it. That'll help. Um, I mean, along with with inside of the um, throttle body itself, it might be hard to see. Um, but those are uh, those are other things you can do. I mean, you're gonna want to just clean all that out. I mean, you can see how black and dirty it is, and just just caked with crap. Um, doing that, also cleaning your idle air control, which sits right up on top. That's just a couple of screws. You pop that off and uh, you just spray that out. There's a little spring in there. Um, and again, you just spray that with an engine degreaser. Um, also, yeah, clean the top ports. Um, but yeah, spray that out, engine degreaser, carb related carb cleaner, and um, maybe just blow it out with an air compressor after, and uh, that should that should see help your idling. If, should that be a problem? Um, another thing, if uh, if it was running kind of sluggish and you've done you've done your plugs, you've you've checked your coil over your uh, coil on plugs, or you've checked your coil packs, uh, you've done your lines, the plug line, plug wires, and all that, and it's still something's still off. Um, it could be a DPFE sensor, which is down here on the side. Um, those have a tendency of um, corroding because they're made out of aluminum and uh, and just rotting and, and, and rotting and breaking breaking down type of thing. So those those can break, or it could be this side, this piece on the side, your uh, electronic vacuum regulator. Um, those can sometimes go. Uh, but I mean, for the most part, it, it would be it would be that, and, and that would again, you'd see some kind of a, a sluggishness, or um, like if you had bad plugs or something. Um, so yeah, so I mean, again, you want to check check all your hoses, check your lines, make sure nothing's cracked. Um, just to definitely go ahead, should you 
if you get some kind of problem, uh, something's running wrong, it, it, it seems to be running rough, um, go ahead, just take your whole throttle body off, clean it all down, clean your I -ear, uh, idle air control, if, if you've got the money, clean your uh, clean and replace your EGR valve, um, clean your mass airflow sensor that's that's on your uh, your intake. Um, those are all things that are, that are going to help, and they're, and they're cheap, easy things you can do. Um, it's just it's not hard. Just a, a four bolts that takes off your whole throttle body, um, and uh, yeah, just clean it all thoroughly and uh, put it back together and see how it is. I mean, you can do that probably all in a couple hours, um, if not faster, but um, those are things that, that are going to help you and um, hopefully solve your problem. But um, I'll probably have some other videos on, on cleaning the uh, throttle body itself and maybe I can give you a, a better before and after on, on exactly just how to clean it.